something here. So uh, I did a video on this guy a while back. All right, a kind of show and tell and unboxing. This is the Dirty Bike or DB Off-Road uh, 219 chain kit, okay? Uh, and I never got around to installing it. Um, I didn't want to do it before a race, okay? I know that. I don't know how proven and reliable this is. I can tell you this. I've got the uh, Gates Power Grip GT4 belt on my bike right now, and that has taken everything I could throw at it right now, okay? I've been through like two races, all right, 100 plus degree temperatures, ripping down the track at 65 miles an hour, all right, at Streets of Willow. It's been through another race at Sonoma Raceway. I've taken it dirt biking. Um, yeah, you name it, man. I, I put that belt through the ringer, okay? So, um, and the and the, G, the Gates Power Grip GT3 is just as good, okay? So I know this belt is reliable, okay? So, all right, and I, so I have this, I don't know how good this is yet, all right? Because I, like I said, I installed the Lunacycle 219 chain kit, and I was not happy with its durability at all. Okay, it just did not last very long. All right, I think it had lasted like 300 miles or something, some ridiculous. It was the sprocket that was the the problems with it. Okay, the chain was good, but the sprockets were not. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this. I've done this video. Oh man, I've I've done belt change videos and uh, chain install videos already with the Luna cycle one so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do an in-depth one I'm gonna see if I could do like a really quick nitty-gritty one all right just I want to take the wheel off to get a quick video of me taking the wheel off that kind of thing okay um, I will put the torque specs in the description of the video if you guys are wondering that is in, in, and in my opinion that is the most important thing about the, working on doing this job is torquing everything properly okay and I highly suggest you put uh, Loctite on the bolts for the um, for the sprocket okay for the for the rear sprocket at least okay on um, the front one you probably don't need to um, it's just a, there's a big old bolt holding it in and there's a spring washer I don't know if we're gonna reuse that or not at the end of the video I will uh, make some comments and stuff and do a quick AAR on how the install went and some tips and tricks that I learned all right so I've never, like I said, I've never installed this one. I did install the Lunacycle one, and I'd imagine it's pretty much the same thing. All right, so uh, let's let's do it. Okay, there is some special instructions that come with it. I was just gonna kind of wing it, but um, according to this, these should be facing outward on the bikes. Okay, um, they should have the numbers facing outward. All right, so that's the special thing about this kit. So when you install it, it needs to go facing to the left, okay? Because the primary drive is on the left side. So make sure it's facing out to the left. All right? Okay.
Here's something I have noticed about the front sprocket on the Dirty Bike Off-Road uh, 219 chain kit. It's a little loose, all right? A little loose, like, like a lot, kind of a lot loose, man. <laughs> all right, hopefully that'll be okay. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna kind of talk you through this one. This is like the special part. So make sure you put your spring washer back in, all right? Spring washer goes on top like so. Then put your nut back on. Okay, I'm gonna use the gun to put it back on, and then uh, and then we'll torque it after. Okay, for now, it's good. So this is pretty nice. Um, yeah, so what sets this apart from the LunaCycle uh, kit is that this has a spacer already built into it okay the space it's already got the correct spacing on it you don't have to put these goofy ass washers on it and adjust the height all right it's already preset for you you can't mess it up right that's why i already i already like this kit better than the lunacycle one <laughs> now how, how strong this this uh sprocket is i don't know but it looks like it would be pretty easy to change without having to take everything apart still so, okay so all right so we will torque that after all right Okay, hey, Zerga here. I just want to make a quick note of that last clip. So this is one of those uh, Tusk, it's a Tusk uh, clutch uh, installing tool or something, or, or removal tool. What it does is it's basically, it keeps a gear from moving, all right? So you're supposed to jam it between the, like a gear or something and it keeps it from moving. This is the perfect tool for this, okay? I don't know if Dirty Bike engineered this so you could do this, but these little, these little oval cutouts in the sprocket it fits per this tool perfectly, okay? So I thank you, Dirty Bike, for making something like that, okay? All I can say. Um, very, very good. <laughs> it fit, like the full, it's like the tool was made to fit in that thing, man. Like this, this is probably the tool they've used to install this, all right? All right, <laughs> let's figure out. Okay, so before, before we put this back in, make sure you got your spacers, okay? Your left and your right spacers, all right? Make sure they're there. Make sure all your seals are still good, okay? do an inspection of all your goodies make sure your 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 thing spins smoothly okay it still does okay make sure it doesn't make any weird noises all right because that because then right now would be a good time to replace the bearings okay <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say all right i've got a new axle here stick it through it should go through smoothly okay see how smooth that goes through so that's a brand new swing arm axle. This is my old one. Watch this. See? There's a tiny bit of resistance. Not a whole lot. Huh, it's kind of odd. Let's try this direction. Can you, oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see it kind of gets caught, it gets hung up there. That's why I'm changing this thing. I don't know, maybe it's straightening itself. No, I can feel it. I can definitely feel it. Like right around here, there's a resistance, all right? And so that means it's a little bit bent, okay? So if it's like that, because I've taken this out a few times and I know it's, it's bad, okay? So, I mean, it's not bad. You could still continue to use it, but it's not as straight as it used to be, okay? That's why I'm putting a brand new one. The other one was bent, all right? So that's, that's a little, Suron tip for you guys. All right, make sure if you ever take this out, you check how straight this is. All right, this is supposed to go in there nice and smoothly like that. Okay.
Alright, hey, he's Meg here, and so this is just uh, going to be the closing video for the DB Off-Road or Dirty Bike Off-Road 219 chain kit, alright? Uh, so I finished it yesterday, and I'm shooting the, the closing video the next day, okay? I still gotta, I still gotta tighten the chain, alright? I, I swapped the Superboto setup for the dirt setup, okay? Um, but yeah, there it is. <laughs> I think I need to go. Uh, I need to go tighten that chain. <laughs> it should probably get quieter after. It's a little bit louder than stock, I think. Okay. So it says, some closing notes are that yeah, this so this thing actually has real sprockets. Okay. Um, good for a dirty bike, and they got uh, they got some real sprockets on like lunacycle ones. Okay. Um, that was the uh, the biggest problem with the lunacycle kit was that the sprockets were garbage. Okay. Um, the chain was really good, but the sprocket was, was garbage, all right? Um, so when putting the chain on, uh, I, I think it's better to put the, put the chain on when you're trying to put the, if you, if you could do it, try to put the chain on while it's, uh, while you're trying to put the jack shaft on. Because I, I tried to walk it onto the, the, the sprocket and it was kind of hard and it seemed like it might damage just the sprocket. Hopefully I didn't damage it, okay? Um, but yeah, there it is. The cover's on it. Um, I didn't tighten it too tight, okay? I, I made, made sure there was a little bit of slack. Just make sure to chain the flex a little bit to make sure it's not super duper tight. Um, it's not good for your bearings also. So I think that may have contributed to how the how fast the other one wore out last time. I may have over tightened it, okay? Um, so I, I made sure like it wasn't super tight, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, and the sprockets are really good. They're, they're much better quality than the Lunacycle one. You don't have to mess around with spacers or anything to figure out the spacing for the for the sprockets. All that is you know done for you already. You just install it, bolt it on, and and that's it. All right. Um, and it came with instructions too, unlike the Lunacycle one. All right. You're not you're not there kind of scratching your head. All right. I mean, yeah, there wasn't a, there wasn't a step by step instructions. I think on their website there is an instructions, but the last time I checked, it didn't. They didn't have it. Like there's supposed to be like a video or something installing. So, so that's why I made my own. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, yeah. So I will put the uh, the the torque specs in the description of the video. If you guys are wondering what the torque specs are, I, I I'll put subtitle. I put subtitles when I was doing it also. So this I tried to do something different with this video because. I've already got a video about a chain kit conversion and a belt install. It's pretty much the same thing, right? I tried to make it a little condensed and slower. I didn't talk as much. Okay, I will just add subtitles. All right, um, and we'll see how that works. And you let me know how that how how you like that. <laughs> so I'll say, all right. Um, so uh, now becomes begins the testing process. All right, to see how how much uh, punishment this thing can handle. So, um, so far I'm still uh, happy with the power, uh, Gates Power Grip GT4 belt, all right, or GT3 belt. I'm pretty, uh, that's my go-to belt, but we'll see how good this one does. I like it, it looks nice. Um, I think the chain is better on the Luna Cycle one, because it was one of them Japanese chains. I don't really know what brand of chain this is, um, but it should be plenty strong. I know they use these chains for like race bikes and stuff, okay, and go-karts, so it should be, should be pretty tough. Um, the question is, how strong are the uh, the sprockets? <laughs> the so the spro like I said, the sprockets was the one thing that that uh, that was not good about the Luna Cycle kit. Okay, and I'm hoping that these sprockets are much much better. Um, but yeah, um, I'll get a couple clips of me riding with it, and then uh, and then I will do a kind of long term review of it. Maybe after, hopefully it'll get to like a thousand miles. Okay. The Lunacycle one only made it like 300 miles before it it was not no longer serviceable. Okay, <laughs> there were like almost no teeth on it. Okay, um, and uh, I'm hoping this one will last much much longer. Is what I'm saying. Okay, I did lube it a little bit when I put it on. Uh, I'd imagine every once in a while, yeah, you probably want to lube. Uh, but yeah, it looks good. I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed with it, and uh, it's I, it really. It's only it costs about as much as the Lunacycle one, and it's much much better. All right, there's much less 
user error in installing it as well also that's what I'm gonna say. Um, I also did install a new jack shaft axle okay I don't know if it's really gonna make much of a difference uh, honestly this, the original one was just slightly bent so I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference <laughs> I suppose it should help it roll a little smoother though right should be good better for the bearings um, yeah okay so we'll see how uh, how much punishment this can take uh, I've got race uh, October is coming up and I've got races every weekend so I'm gonna put this thing through to test all right hopefully it if it can if it can last me through October you know all, through all the races and stuff then then yeah that, that's good enough okay I believe the last one I raced I had two races on it I think I had a supermoto race and a hair scramble race all right and um, and this one is probably gonna be doing like like six Five, like yeah, all right, like around six races. Holy crap, we've got a lot of races. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, so so yeah, look forward to that. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, I can't really take it for a ride right now because one, the chain needs to be adjusted, and two, the uh, just my my brakes are messed up. All right, I may need to get a new brake caliper. I cannot push the pistons back in. The pistons are seized, so um, his mega has not been uh, maintaining that. <laughs> unfortunately, okay. So, so I will have a, uh, a couple clips of me riding after this, and then in the future I'll have like kind of like long-term review or vlog on how it's doing, okay? Hopefully it'll be on there for a long time. I don't plan to take it off anytime soon, okay? Now, I do still have another spare belt, so that's good. Um, if something happens to this, I will just throw another belt in, all right? I have the belt that I took out previously, but I found out it's actually damaged, okay? There was a little, there's like a, a rock or pebble, teeny tiny little grain of sand or something got between the belt and the pulley and it, it, you cut the belt a tiny bit. So I'm like, yeah, it's probably not a good idea to run that belt anymore. And I think I need to replace the pulleys on my, uh, for my belt. So uh, the, the pulleys look kind of ate up. So I, it might be time to go look for another set. If I can find like a old used set from somebody that's done this conversion on like a newer bike, I'll look for uh, I'll, I'll try to jump on that, okay, but I'm not looking to spend a lot of money for it since I got this. All right, sorry, Hayes Mega's back here again. <laughs> so, okay, there's two things. There's one thing I forgot to talk about is the special tools, okay? So, this tool, I, think, I believe I used this the last time I did the chain kit conversion, and they worked great, okay? So, this is a uh, Tusk clutch, clutch installation tool, okay? It, it holds the clutch basket, so you can, like, take the nut off and, st and stuff, and it's has other uses as well like holding the jack shaft pulley so you can torque it okay I, now i use the impact gun to take the bolts out but this helps you torque it it keeps it from spinning all right I, you saw me use this in the video it worked very good okay and in fact i think that sprocket was designed to be used with this because this fits perfectly in it okay um so so yeah that came in handy if you got one of these use it all right um and then, uh, and then obviously the gear, the the pulley puller, all right, or the gear puller. Um, so this is the one I had used last time, and it's a little messed up. I had to use the smaller claws, but it worked fine. Okay, I think because I took it out before, it didn't. It was pretty easy to get out. I did notice that the the counter shaft pulley or the the pinion pulley, the one that's on the motor, is a little bit loose. Okay, I don't know how that's. Uh, I you know there's just like a like a millimeter of play. So hopefully. The, the bolt holding it in will keep that from moving, all right? So hopefully that doesn't mess up the, the sprocket or the keyway or the crank or anything in the future. I, ho I hope not. That's an expensive uh, expensive damage right there, okay? Um, so yeah, that, that did kind of worry me that the sprocket moves side to side a little bit, okay? Um, that I don't think it should be moving a whole lot, all right? So the tolerances are a little loose on that guy. Just want to say um, you should be able to you should have to press it in basically uh, you should you should be able to press it in with the with the nut and and it just slipped right on all right so so yeah I'm a little disappointed in that but hopefully uh, hopefully the bolt holds it keeps it from moving okay um, that's what I'm gonna say because it's gonna be uh, subjected to forces going in both directions like for regen and uh, acceleration so I hope it doesn't mess the key up. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. So that was that's a little note about the counter shaft sprocket, um, and then uh, yeah, the tool right there. Okay, these came in very handy. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, and then make sure you put Loctite on your on your bolts. Okay, the bolts that go on the junction. You don't want that. Okay.